Hi, today is Tuesday and we're looking at lesson two for Tuesday and we're on module six at the end of the game. I don't know if we'll get all the way through it because there's like 30 units in here. Anyway, let's take a look. Um, these ones are for drawing and just kind of charting out the x-axis and y-axis. So here's kind of the technical aspect of things. How to find points or how to plot points. So this one right here, what we're looking at, I'm going to get some orange, um, it says name the shape that is at each location. And so as we scroll down here, we can see we've already got our Y. Here's the Y axis right here. It means it's things that are going up and down on this line. The X axis over here is meaning that it's starting at your zero and heading to the right as opposed to up and down. So if we look over here and we've got the X first, the Y second, and a couple of different ways that I try and remember this is, oh, which one comes first in the alphabet? X or Y? X, X, Y, Z, right? And then the other way to look at it is that this is walking, that you walk on the X and you fly on the Y, and that when we're growing up in this world, us human beings, we tend to walk before we fly. So on the X, let's go ahead and check it out. We're going to go over two. Here's one, here's two. And then according to this screen right here, it says we're going to go up four. So we're at two, and here's one. Skip it. Two. Nope, no shape. Three. No shape. Here's four. So it's a circle. So we're going to say a circle right here. Now we take a look at this one, and we've got five, four. So we're going to start at zero, start at our origin, cruise over to five. And then if we only went up one, if it was five, one, we know it would be this hard. But it's not five, one. It's five, four. So here's three, two. Sorry, I said three, didn't I? Here's three for real. Here's four. So it's going to be a diamond shape. Hopefully yours is not so messy when you do yours. Now we're going to go over one, according to this. We're going to walk one. And then we're going to fly five. Here's one, two, three, four, and five, which is going to be this triangle. And then they've kind of reversed it. Instead of walking one and flying five, we're going to walk five and fly one. So we'll go walking one, two, three, four, five, and fly one. And now it's this heart this time. And we want to think about that in terms of, well, how come we didn't just go one, two, three, four, five? Why didn't we just do that? Well, because they're not using every line. Their units, as far as coming on over, the whole move is two lines over. So this right here, if it actually had something in it, would be one and a half over instead of just one or two. So let's take a look at B. Which shape is two units from the x-axis? So the x-axis we know is this line here. Two units up is going to not be this line. It's going to be this line two units up? Or is it going to be this one? Because this is two units. It's probably going to be your star. I'm going to make my star this way. Which shape is the same x and y coordinate? So you want something that meets right in the middle. This is 3, 3. Therefore, you have a square. Use the coordinate plane to answer the following. So name the coordinate of each shape. So we're going to find a moon first. Let's scroll this up so we can actually see the numbers at the bottom here. So this one is going to be on the moon. It's going to be 2 and a half. 2 and a half on the x. 2 and a half. And then moon is going to be at the 4. So it meets right where those come together. Now go to sun. 
The sun is at four, three. Four, three. And now we're gonna go to a heart. We're gonna go over one for the heart, and then we're gonna go up to the two. So the coordinates are one, two. And then if you take a look at the cloud, here's our cloud. We don't go over at all. It's at zero. And then when we go up the y-axis here, we're at four and a half. Four and a half. Here we've got the smiley face. And let's see, the smiley face is halfway between three and four, which puts it at three and a half right there. Three and a half over. And then what, how far up do we go? We go to five and a half. Five and a half. Let me take a look here. What shapes have the same, two shapes have the same y coordinate? So there's going to be two that are on the same height on the y. And it looks like you've got a heart and a star on the two line on the y axis. So we'll make a heart. So you get to do some drawings on this. Isn't this great? Ha ha. Star. Plot an x at point two three. So we start here, we walk one, two, and then we fly three. Here's one, two, three. And we're gonna plot an X right there, based on two, three. Now it says plot a square at three and two and a half. So we're gonna walk over to the three, and we're gonna fly up two and a half. And we're making a square there. There's our square. Okay, now it's going to be your turn. We're going to cruise on up here to the exit ticket. And I have a photocopy of this, and I've given you each one of them. So, here you go. Name the coordinates of the shapes below. So on your chart, you're going to check it out. Here's your sun. You're going to say, where is it on the X? And then how high does it fly? Do the same for your arrow and your heart. And then it asks you to actually do some plotting yourself. Remember, the very first one, whoops, didn't mean for that. The very first one is the X, second one is the Y. And that's how you find them. And I will see you tomorrow.